New at 10, a historic agreement between the city of Oakland and the African American Sports and Entertainment Group for its share of the Coliseum is a done deal. But there are concerns tonight about a critical payment. KTVU's Betty Yu joins us live from Oakland with details. Betty? Claudine, three city council members contend that because the city hasn't received an installment they believe was due at the beginning of the month, well, now they're looking at a contingency budget that should kick in starting today. They say they fear this could mean drastic public safety cuts may be on the way. City Council Members Noel Gallo, Janani Ramachandran, and Treva Reed raised the alarm Tuesday over a lack of transparency since they've received no proof of payment that the City of Oakland has received the initial $15 million due from the African American Sports and Entertainment Group, or AASEG, in the Coliseum sale. The mayor's proposed budget included $63 million that we did not have in a bank. And there were terms that were agreed upon that those terms have not been made clear as to where that money is now. The fact that we are here on October 1st without having received the entirety of this initial $15 million payment is unsettling to me because we don't know what this contingency budget is now going to look like. Council members said the contingency budget would reduce Oakland's budgeted police force to 600 officers and temporarily close five fire stations and pause all city contracts. The city administrator confirmed at Tuesday's council meeting that that budget has indeed been triggered and cost reduction measures have begun, though it's unclear exactly what kind. Mayor Shane Tao's office issued a statement disputing that. It reads in part, no contingencies have been triggered that weren't already in place. All relevant information will be presented to the city council in closed session and at the finance and management committee meetings. Unfortunately, it's a political season. I don't, I'm not sure if these are, you know, political issues that are occurring between council members and the mayor's office. But really for us, it's really it's, it's unfortunate because it's such a historical project. AASCG co-founder Ray Bobbitt said the group has made all required payments due according to the purchase and sell agreement with the city. He says the group has paid $5 million and plans to pay another $10 million in early October, but is currently negotiating with the city to pay the full $105 million by the end of this fiscal year. If that is the case, yeah. they need to bring that back to council. There's been a lack of accountability. Where is the money, when did it come in, how much do we have, and what are the steps that were taken? And Reed said that all three council members have sent repeated emails to the mayor's office asking those very questions, wanting updates on this Coliseum deal, and they have all gone unanswered. Claudine? Well, Betty, I know that Ray Bobbitt said early October for that $10 million, that would give the $15 million for the new payment. Was he able to be any more specific about when in October that payment might come in? He said that he plans to send that $10 million by October 7th, but he said, again, they're in the middle of negotiating a deal where they would pay this amount in full. So we have a couple more days to see that payment come through. Claudine? Okay, we'll keep watching. Betty Yu reporting live. Thank you so much.